What's going on guys? Taking a little break here from uh, work as I just got a delivery from Canada Post that I am super, super stoked about. Um, I'm adding another helmet to the arsenal this year. Like many sledders, you probably all have issues when it comes to buying stuff. I buy way too much gear. But uh, I ended up finding a CKX Titan helmet, which my brother-in-law bought last year and said, you know what, you absolutely got to switch and try one of these helmets. Um, so I ended up finding one used actually on uh, Marketplace, a great guy by the name of Martin. Um, he's out uh, east towards Kingston. He had a post up for uh, one of these CKX Titans in an XL. It was the flat black with the gray color and uh, I really liked it. I've heard amazing things about him. Uh, Rich Outdoors, he's a huge fan of the CKX uh, stuff and the Mission Helmet. So I said, you know what, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna give it a go. If I find a deal on one, then I'll pick it up and uh, I'll give it a try for this year. So I'm super excited. I'm gonna show you guys, uh, this thing literally just showed up and we're gonna do a, uh, a quick unboxing for you in a sec. Awesome, all right. So I know it says uh, Mission Box on it, but it is a, a CKX Titan that I bought from this guy. And I got a bunch of extras with it too. Honestly, got a wicked deal, couldn't resist. Um, so let's take a look and see what this thing looks like. Nice. Got a great uh, helmet bag with it. Looks good. Oh, sweet. Really nice. I love the kind of the idea that they've got with the strap attaching uh, right to the helmet. Adjustable peak as well. That's great. Very easy to adjust that um, that as well. All right, there's supposed to be some other stuff here. So he said, oh yeah, here we go. Some more goodies. One, two, I think that should be it. So I got a, a couple of extra sets of, uh, of goggles with it, which is pretty cool. The yellow lens. These are probably the yeah. So these are the regular goggles with uh, with no heat. Oh, extra lens. That's pretty cool. Extra cable and an extra piece of the strap to hold it. That's pretty awesome. Got another set of goggles here. Oh, these look like the electrics. Yeah. So it's got the electric piece on the side that you just plug the RCA cable in, which is dangling right here, where it's actually hooked up. So that's pretty awesome. I got two sets of electric goggles, <clears throat> plus the regular ones that come with it. And that just unplugs. And it comes off like that. Not to mention, and I'll show you guys in a sec, but I've got a whole pile of other goggles as well. I have a goggle obsession. I probably won't use the old ones, but those are the ones that it came with. Those are the Z10 or the 210s, I guess. Sorry, the 210s that come with it, that clip on. Plus I have my own goggle collection over here. I've got some 509s, some Oakleys, all different colors and those are for my other open face helmets up here I know I know guys I have, I have problems we all do all right so I'm gonna play around with this helmet a little bit but I know it's got this front piece that opens 
opens right up, which is pretty cool. So if you want to have a chocolate bar or a snack or some water or something, that's great. I love that. Pretty sweet bucket. I'm impressed. Excited to, uh, to give it a go, and I'll give it uh, kind of a full review after I've tried it out. All right, guys. So um, just got this awesome uh, CKX Titan helmet, but no Sled Addicts helmet would be complete unless I had my Cardo Pack Talk uh, system installed. So what I'm going to do for you guys quickly is just show you what we do to rig up these helmets. This allows Jesse and I to communicate with each other as well as our dads have them um, and some of our buddies have them. It basically allows us to do all our communications and, and uh, you know have everything kind of integrated into the helmets and uh, connected to our sleds obviously with the new BRP system. So what I've got here is this is the uh, the mounting piece for uh, the Cardo Pack Talk Bold Unit, which basically just clips in there. So I'm going to mount that to the side of the helmet. I've got some extra Velcro, which I'm probably going to have to cut in order to, to get everything to stick in there properly. Uh, I've got a boom mic, so I prefer uh, the boom mics. We had issues with the other ones, which are basically just a wired mic with a little uh, mic on the end. I prefer the booms. I think these work better. I've got uh, the JBL speakers, which they come with. So this is the, uh, I can't remember which ones these are. I have two different sets. There's like a high-end version that gives you more bass and then a regular version. I think these are the regulars. Um, I've actually found the regular version to be louder than the ones that have more bass. So uh, take it for what you want. And then obviously the uh, this clip, which just basically fastens to the side of the helmet. And that's basically where uh, I'll be able to adjust, make any adjustments to the system. So we'll get started um, and we'll, uh, we'll work on the inside of the helmet first. If you liked that video, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the Sled Addicts YouTube channel where we release content on everything snowmobiles. Also, hit that bell icon so you can be updated every time we release new videos.